Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, in this video, I just wanted to update you guys on basically another chemical that is being added to your produce and uh, just the further enforcing another reason why you should do carnivore or at least cut out fruits and veggies and, you know, try to eat healthier, contrary to what vegans or the mainstream media tell you to do. So today I'm going to tell you about this chemical called APL and it's funded by Bill Gates and uh, I work at a grocery store and so we just got shipments of this stuff in and I'll show you a photo you can see that indeed this is what's being sent to the grocery stores and this is what we're putting on our shelves because that's my job. <laughs> I put it there and uh, kind of makes me feel bad for poisoning people, but I mean, got to make money, right? <laughs> so anyways, what is APL? What, what has APL on it? Okay, so APL is a chemical that is actually on a lot of organic produce. And you can see that it is on lemons, organic apples, limes, mangoes, oranges, grapefruits, uh, cucumbers, mandarins, and avocados. So they do add it to quite a few things. And it's also on a lot of organic produce, whether fruit or veggie. Um, and usually they'll have an A peel sticker on it and sometimes they don't because it falls off so kind of hard to tell so anyways A peel actually cannot be washed off and will remain on the surface of fruits and veggies even after you try to clean them try to wash them it won't come off because it cannot be washed off the coating can actually trap in other substances like pesticides fungicides waxes dirt and other contaminants used on the produce. That means extra yummy chemicals for you. Because <laughs> we all know that during the growing, the crop, the farming process, uh, they add so many different chemicals to these fruits and veggies to help them grow and keep away bugs and animals. And all that stuff is getting trapped in, so you're getting extra of it. Plus this extra APL chemical, whatever it is. So, if you look at these photos, you can see untreated and treated uh, avocados and mangoes. Um, these have been treated with APL and these have not. You can see that basically this chemical makes your fruit and veggies last longer, like weeks and weeks longer. So, without it, these fruits and veggies would have spoiled already. Uh, think of it like eating spoiled food because without APL it would have already been spoiled a long time ago. And so yeah, before we even get further into this, there's no long-term health effects studies done on this chemical. We don't, we don't know the long-term health effects. It's, it leaves a lot of room for concern because we all know what happened when all these kids started vaping and there was no long-term studies. And then years and years later, va vaping is causing all these different issues like popcorn lungs and, and, and teenagers and young adults. And it's just, it's terrible. And <laughs> this is the same thing with APL. We don't know the long-term health effects. But obviously it can't be good. So... What is APL actually made of? APL is made of monoglycerides and diglycerides. Monoglycerides are a type of trans fat preservative, and diglycerides are also another nasty preservative. Uh, they are the byproducts of fat and oil processing, classified as emulsifiers, and contain trans fats. So, how are they harmful? Well, mono, mono and diglycerides contain 
trans fats, which promote inflammation in the body and have been associated with heart disease, diabetes, stroke, and obesity. If you watch my video that I did on seed oils, it perfectly explains everything about trans fats and why they're so incredibly bad for you, even in very small amounts. Trans fats are considered to be the very worst fat you can possibly eat, even to mainstream nutrition. Trans fats are extremely harmful and cause so many health issues, even in small amounts. So mono and deglycerides are food additives that are used to prevent fat and water from separating. They contain trans fats, which is dangerous to our health, obviously. Uh, associated with heart disease, breast cancer, disorders of the nervous system, colon cancer, diabetes, obesity, allergies, and more. What's also interesting is that trans fat does not have to be displayed on the label because it is considered an emulsifier instead of a lipid. So not only are trans fats bad for you, but they don't have to tell you how much is in it or if there's any at all. In summary, APL is made of nasty emulsifiers, preservative, preservatives, and trans fats that destroy your health. Crazy, crazy. All funded by Bill Gates, too. So, you can actually see that. You can look it up. Uh, APL has already been utilized on fresh produce in over 65 countries across all continents. Continents. APL is marketed as natural despite being produced using toxic solvents such as heptane, which is used in fuels, petroleum, ink, and cement, and ethyl acetate used in paints, perfumes, and lacquers. So APL's own FDA documents reveal that the manufacturing process involves toxic heavy metals and solvents, which can accumulate in the human body over time and contribute to numerous health conditions, including chronic illness. Much of their ingredients are able to be kept secret or hidden from the U.S. The public, uh, the U.S. and the public, because as allowed by the FDA, uh, because it's considered proprietary proprietary information so not only does this chemical apil contain trans fats and is made from so many different chemicals but it also traps in the already existing chemicals that they spray to grow the produce and then the waxes and then whatever we add to them in the grocery store. It's just, it's like, what do you do at this point? It's like, literally, it's like hundreds of chemicals at this point that you're eating on that apple, on that banana, on that avocado, on that orange, on that salad, on that cucumber. What do you do at this point? It's obvious they're trying to kill us. But obviously, I don't advocate for eating this crap in the first place. You should just be eating more meat. Anyways, but... So, another red flag is that uh, APL is banned in the EU for ingestion. As of May 2019, the EU has only approved APL for surface treatment on produce where the peels are not ingested. Also, APL's coating doesn't address mold and is also known, unknown how APL's coating will impact nutrition of the produce. According to many research studies, vegetables can lose up to 77% of its vitamin C within a week of harvest, and spinach can lose up to 90% within 24 hours. Although your produce may look better with APL and fresher, it will probably be a waste, lacking any of the nutrients that it once had because it's already spoiled and affecting your health, your health long term. 
Yeah, so that's another interesting point. Fruits and veggies, as soon as they get picked off the vine or the tree or whatever, they begin to lose nutrients over time. Top all of that with the hundreds of chemicals that we add to the stuff, these, these foods. And then on top of that, all these fruits and veggies have hundreds, if not dozens of anti-nutrients, which I've spoke about in my previous videos. Videos. Jesus, guys, it's like, why would you even eat this crap at this point? Nonsense. It is absolute nonsense. Anyways, APL was founded in 2012 with a grant from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. APL has rapidly grown to a billion dollar valuation within a decade, attracting investments from notable figures like Bill Gates, Oprah Winfrey, Katy Perry, and the Rockefeller Foundation. Hmm. Aren't these the same people that talk about depopulation and, you know, killing killing off 90% of the world's population because climate change or whatever? <laughs> yeah, why would I trust anything? Why would I trust these people with anything? Nah, definitely not. So... Last thing before I end the video, you can see that APIL is actually listed as a pesticide, and the company doesn't disclose all the ingredients contained in this toxic food product. Active ingredients, citric acid, 0.66% by weight. Other ingredients. What is other ingredients exactly? Well, they don't want to tell us. 99.34% by weight. Well, that's good. So, oh, well, you know, 99% of the chemicals in this pesticide, we don't even know what they are. That, that's great to know, guys. Yeah. Okay. Jesus. <laughs> All right. I'm going to end the video before I have a heart attack. <laughs> So, if there's ever another reason that you need to try a carnivore diet, it's this, this video. Um, thank you for watching, guys. If my, if my information is helpful, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It would really help me out, especially with everything going on with the algorithm. Uh, if you guys haven't heard, they're censoring keto and carnivore content now. So, my videos will not reach as many people and not be able to help as many people and that's just ridiculous so if you guys could help me out in any way that would be great uh yeah that's it for the video guys i appreciate you and i'll see you in the next one